may be separating glass, cans, paper, and plastics, but long before the garbage trucks arrive, it's all gone. New tonight, a major challenge for the city of San Diego, the cost of stolen recyclables. People living near the beaches say it's an especially nasty problem for them. And if they were just taking the recyclables, it wouldn't be an issue. Taylor Bloom and Drew Meltzer live in Pacific Beach. Every week, the couple fuming. People keep going through it. It gets messier and messier. And by the end of the week, there's trash all surrounding the area. They say a near constant string of scavengers ripping through their bins, looking for recyclables. The open trash cans people put in their dog poop. And that smells it up, more flies. From PB to City Heights, it was so bad, Jessica Gonzalez just stopped recycling completely. After her entire blue bin. They stole it from my house. And it ha we have stairs in my house. I don't know how they did it, but they took it. Jose Isaiah is a city spokesman. He says it is an issue across San Diego. In the last year, 803 people cited just a fraction of those who he says are, yes, stealing your trash. What they're doing is taking money out of the city coffers because whatever is in those recycle bins, the city uh, sends those off and, and, we, and we get money. The hunt for a treasure trove that he says at its worst can involve teams of organized poachers. They're looking for identity material or recyclables. It's annoying. We just don't know what else to do. Well, stealing recyclables is a misdemeanor punishable by up to a $1,000 fine. Yaseya says if you spot someone rummaging through your bins, you should call the police at their non-emergency line.